Hey everyone, uh, this is Black17 here, and uh, today I'll be going over our PFA Week uh, 9 battle as we are up against Flick. And to be honest, this is one of those games where I can see myself winning or losing, depending on how things go. But I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna wing it, so... This week we all brought a Cleric, uh, Sylveon, Sub Combine Suicune with Shadow Ball for, you know, three Psychic Pokemon and pretty much his entire team doesn't have like a Ghost Resist, so yeah. Uh, Scizor is uh, pretty much uh, SD U-turn. So yeah, also Gallade. Gallade's like SG plus three attacks. Uh, Coco's actually Scarfed this week with Defog and Neo Queen is uh, Fizz Death with uh, Rocks and Toxic. Also Shadow Ball, so... Because Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball, everything. So, my opponent this week is, I uh, believe, Slick. And to be honest, Slick's team is pretty terrifying because he has a Landorus, uh, Mega Manetric, Latios, uh, Mungus, Elicent, and Bronzong. Three fat things and three very offensive things. So, what other threats you could have had with Weavile, Darm, Aldino, <laughs> or Bombi? what else but I'm very surprised he didn't bring Weavile and uh, Jar Manhattan because those two could have just pressured my entire team um but yeah like thankfully didn't bring those but we actually brought like Scarf Coco for that so but at least we could have that for uh, Lando so um honestly in terms of leads I kind of don't know what else I could lead with because his Landorus and uh, Manetric are pretty scary and I can't really go around with Coco just yet Coco's kind of a win con, but late game, so speak, so yeah. So for that reason, I'm just gonna go for Gallade as he goes for Landorus. And uh I do carry Ice Punch on this thing, so I could go on the offense or just go on the defense, I'm not so sure, but honestly, I decide, you know what, I'm just gonna go for the offense. Just go for the ice punch, because to be honest, I did not want to deal with that Landorus at all. And He's going to eat that Ice Punch pretty well with the leftovers. I go to Scizor, and he goes for Rocks here. And unfortunate, because as you see, I go for the U-turn. He goes for Rocky Helmet. He has Mutal Queen up. So at this point, I'm like, all right, something's going to get spored. I don't really have anything to take a spore. But he doesn't spore me, so that's pretty helpful. So that's cool. Here I go for the Shadow Ball. Do some chip damage as he goes for the iron head probably anticipating sylveon or just another you know switch in so here i decide to just pull the trigger and go suicune and honestly that's really helpful because uh you could have lost this or right there i actually actually also like like contemplating on whether or not to go like scissor or suicune because scissor was honestly more important but if he were to go for toxic It'd be weird, but then again, a Toxic on Suicune would have been a good play on his end, so yeah. Here, he goes to Amoongus as I go for the for the uh, Substitute, because of course I don't want to get Toxic, and I decide to call mine here, and he goes for the Giga Drain, and thankfully, thanks with our Spadef Volk, we were able to tank that, and we're going to have a lot of fun here, so. Um, here, I'm just going to go for Calm Mind, and... Be honest it takes two giga drains to knock him out so at this point i'm like oh we're set like we're all set and at this point he realizes like he's in trouble so <laughs> as we go for a sub here as as we're up against jello and he, i don't think he doesn't realize that we have shadow ball so uh, at this point i go for another combine thinking i could just keep setting up he goes for scald so now he's kind of hoping that i don't have a move hit him with and I just reveal shadow ball here honestly this was kind of a dumb play on my end because I should have just went for the uh, second combine or like the fourth combine but I get a spadef drop so I could pretty much dread on his uh next pokemon switch out so uh but unfortunately for him he loses a uh, jealous and I would have two shot him anyway so good thing about being able to like keeping momentum like this is that we're able to get leftover recovery over time, so that's really good. And the fact that Manetric and everything else is going to chip down is going to help Suicune just probably just 
just slowly pick off his team. So um, here he goes to Diego, just it tries to intimidate me. Full switch of Kisora, obviously just break the sub. And I go for Shadow Ball, anticipating the Lottie. But I get lucky and I get the Spadef drop. Now, this apparently mattered because, of course, uh, as you'll see, uh, he doesn't have Berry. So, and he actually, I actually knocked this thing out. And I think that was a roll. So, it's kind of like, I do kind of get lucky on that end. So, yeah. And at this point, um, Suicune just looks like it's gonna, like, probably just keep going through this. And I think, uh, like, kind of has to bank on, like, getting some, like, going for both switches. But even then, at this point, I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna keep clicking Shadow Ball. Because, like, his other two Pokemon, or three Pokemon here, like, you know, Landorus, Latios, and Bronzong don't want to take a Shadow Ball. And Landorus doesn't want to take a Skull at all, so, yeah. So here he goes for Thunderbolt. And he actually gets the Paralat for Alphys. Evil, which is hilarious. And to be honest, I kind of deserve that. <laughs> and that's kind of funny, so... Uh, and at this point, I just go for Shadow Ball because anticipating him to go for the Ball Switch, so yeah. But at this point, Diego is already weakened to where like Bullet Punch can knock him out. So... Um, unfortunately, Suicune's done its job. Just weakening down like three Pokemon, so... So at this point, uh, Gallade and Scizor could just probably clean, now even uh, Sylveon. But he actually kind of lets, uh, he doesn't have Thunderbolt or a way to beat the little Suicune. So uh, we just get another kill with it against the Latios. And I'm like, well, that turned out great. So and at this point he goes dad, Landorus, because of course, Landorus is like the type of dad that you that always is there for you. I mean, it's it's a paternal figure if you think about it. It's it's supposed to re represent fertility, so or abundance or something. I don't know. So, anyways, so uh, okay, that's weird. We're getting into weird territory. So, I go into Gloof, and to be honest, I just I just go for the knockoff, I believe. Or ice punch, or well, whatever. I just go for knockoff here. I think. Because I just want to get rid of this, uh, this Bronzong leftovers. It's kind of getting annoying. He goes for Toxic. But at this point, uh, Landorus is just wide open because, uh, like, come on. Like, we have Scizor, Sylveon, Coco with Scarf Ray Bird. Let's knock it out, so. And honestly, I just, we, I mean, we could always switch out Gallade here if we need to, so yeah. Um, still. Uh, Gallade just goes for the Ice Punch, and it still does so much damage. And we actually, I believe we actually live, which is pretty amazing. And we just knock out the uh, Landorus, and yeah, that's gonna be GG. Honestly, this was a very quick game. Because, I think it was probably because Suicune, <laughs> not gonna lie. We can getting those four kills, it get Jealous set, Glus, like, uh, Body Os, uh, Pretty much pressuring uh, almost his entire team, really. Um, well, not attended right there, so... <laughs> um, yeah, this was one of those like games where I just knew that we could, could just do work. If I get it in the right time, then yeah. Uh, it just... Instead of just it taking all that damage from Levile or like... Garm, I could just do that and just... Probably like, you know, wall break, so... Of course, uh... I do have to add in the fact that that, um, spe like, you know, Shadow Ball is, like, pretty eventful, I guess you could say. It's a, it's a very strong move if you think about it, because that's a minus, you get, like, a minus one drop if, like, you get the Prowls, or not Prowls, but the, the Death Drop, so, yeah. And to be honest, we played it very well if you think about it, just in terms of positioning. Um, and Galay would have just, Coco could have just cleaned up the game. I'll admit, my team was kind of a little bit janky because, you know, of the matchup, but I just felt that this was a very, like, you know, like winnable can't game without just going and showing my full hand if you case have battles. Like, because at this point, this is like week nine, so, like, there's like, there's some, several opponents that we could battle that could be our round, like, one for finals uh, opponent, so yeah. 
Um, so anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. That's the game. And uh, also, by the way, if you notice, everyone had Galoof. I like a theme of oof, 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 and oof. I think that's pretty much the game right there. So, yeah, Loof just did his job. So, anyways, uh, GG's the slick. <laughs> I know, I kind of, I kind of apologize to him about the RNG right there with the Shadow Balls. <laughs> um, and the, I think the crit there, but even then, I think it probably, it was, it still didn't matter, so yeah. But yeah, the Shadow Balls are drops and crit right there. Eh, I, like, I know, it's just, it's Shadow Ball, so yeah. It's it's Ghost Skull, by the way, so it's Ghost Skull. Alright, I'm just rambling enough, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.